Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up 7 Cosmic Eclipse Pokemon Booster Packs. Cosmic Eclipse is the newest set in the TCG, official release date November 1st, 2019. This set is the final Sun and Moon series expansion before Sword and Shield cards will be released in February. Four of the packs that I'll be opening up in this video will be pulled from the Build and Battle box, and then the other three packs were pulled from a sealed booster box. I purchased all seven of these packs from the Dork Den for $30 at the pre-release tournament that I attended. There is one extra box and three packs left over, and I was lucky enough to be able to purchase it. So here's a bit different view of the three Cosmic Eclipse booster packs. The ones from the booster box. Here's a look at the build and battle box or the pre-release kit. On the back of the box, you can see what you get on the inside. This is for building a 40 card deck for the pre-release tournament. I took second at the Dork Den. Take a look and see what you get on the inside. So here is the rule sheet for building a deck, only four prize cards in battle. Fion would be the Black Star promo that I was able to get. SM220 would be the card number. Buzzwool, Entei, and Blacephalon, the other three. I'm going to keep this sealed. On the back would be the online TCG code card. And then the four booster packs on the inside of the build and battle box. I've actually had pretty good pulls so far from Cosmic Eclipse. 271 total cards in the set. It is the largest set of all time. The featured tag team trio on the first pack here, Palkia, Dialga, and Arceus. There is a Reshiram and Brazen GX in this set. That would be the tag team GX I'd like to pull most, that card in rainbow rare form. First pack here, four and two is the card trick. It starts with Whalmer, Palpitoad, Cricketot, Apom, Woobat, Fighting Type Energy, Zangoose, Vaporeon, Tag Call, Reverse Solo of an Onyx, just a common. Final card would be an Alolan Ninetales, and this would be a Rare Hollow. Good start to the opening. Would like to get one Ultra Rare or Secret Rare pull from the seven packs. At least I won't be shut out with the Hollow pull, so Galeo Lunala pack now. Even though this set will be released November 1st, there are new Hidden Fates products still being released. There is a Super Premium Collection box, November 15th, the release date on that one. Natu, the first card in the second pack. Trap Inch, Seal, Passimian, Rowlet, Metal Type Energy, Rotom, Erica, Jolteon, Reverse Solo of a Golduck, this would be an uncommon. Final card would be an Ursa Ring. A friend of mine actually pulled the Triple Tag Team GX of these three baby Pokemon, put it in his pre-release deck. It didn't fare very well, unfortunately. The only win he had out of the three rounds was a buy. Golit to start this pack. Dupiter. Apom. Onyx. Tepig, Fairy Type Energy, Torkoal, Gloom, Floet, Reverse Solo of an Ambipom, an Uncommon, and the final card would be a Blastoise and Piplop GX. I think this card will be pretty good in the standard format. You could use it as the primary attacker in a Naganadal and Quagsire deck. This was the feature GX in the deck that I lost to at the pre-release tournament. The GX that he pulled was the alternate art GX, the full art. Doing very well so far. Three packs left to go after this one. Woobat to start this pack. Ducklet, Helioptile, Cosmog, Slugma, Lightning Type Energy, Red and Blue, a tag team trainer, Tag Call, Delmice, Reverse Solo of a Stoutland. I was just going to mention these character cards can be pulled in the Reverse Solo slot. They are a secret rare. 
rarity wise. And the final card would be an Embor. This was the primary attacker in the deck that I built. Was able to accelerate seven fire energy into play by utilizing Embor's ability. Turn over the top eight and accelerate as many energy as you find there into play. I was able to pull the Pikachu character card with red, a great looking card. Lillipop starts this pack. Screlp, Pikachu, Stuffle, Pawniard, Fire Type Energy, Hakamoo, Rotom, Type Null, Reverse Hollow. Of that same Type Null, both would be uncommon rarity wise. Final card, a Braviary. Two packs left to go here. Another Solgaleo Lunala cover artwork design pack. Probably the best card that was pulled at the pre-release tournament could have been the alternate art, the trio of the legendary Pokemon, Palkia, Dialga, and Arceus. Coughing starts the second to last pack. Drillbur, Swirlix, Cricketot, Woobat, Lightning Type Energy, Bisharp, Torkoal, Gloom, Reverse Hollow of a Pikachu. I do like the artwork on this card. Rarity wise, just a common. Final card, a Cradilly. Final pack out of this seven Cosmic Eclipse booster pack opening. Hoping for something good in that reverse holo slot. I'm not too familiar with the cards in this set yet for playability. Helioptile starts the final pack. Carvana, Tepig. Togedemaru, Onyx, Water-type Energy, Heracross, Araquanid, Throw, Reverse Solo of a Cottony, a Common, Final Card, would be a Drampa. So I would say solid pulls overall. I've actually done better in the first Cosmic Eclipse opening that I had from the pre-release kit and the four additional booster packs there. Three cards to summarize. I was able to pull out one rare holo in Alolan Ninetales, one regular GX in Blastoise and Piplup, and then probably the best, well at least rarity wise, the Stoutland character card. So that will conclude this opening. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. So thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.